Hey everybody, Coach Bill is here and our first practice plan for the fall season is out and I wanted to give you this little uh, video here to help you out with it um, because it is a lot of reading and I know everybody's just starting back to school. So first things first, guys, if you are on time, you're late. So please make sure that you show up to the rink with plenty of time and make sure that you have read the practice plan ahead of time and watch this video. Um, okay, make sure, make sure you are ready to go out on the ice, equipment checked, all set and ready to go at least five minutes before our start time tonight. Um, first thing that we're going to do when we get out there tonight is our warm-up. Um, just like our practice plan says, um, we are going to hit the ice hard. Coach uh, McDay will make sure you have water, so no need to bring your water bottles uh, out. Uh, we'll have water for you already. Uh, when you hit the ice, we're going to do our regular warm-up which of course is uh, two big ovals here, one oval here and the other oval is like this. And uh, you guys are gonna be, we'll have pucks out here uh, like this and like this. We'll throw them out on the ice and you guys are just working on your shot shooting on net. Please make sure that you do not skate in front of this net. You should be shooting from back here and then peeling off in here so that your other teammates are not shooting at you. Goalies, you're over here stretching. Okay, this lasts, guys, this lasts for only like a minute or a minute and a half. That means you're out on the ice. Um, if you're out there right on time, this lasts like a minute, minute and a half. Okay, then um, we'll give you a, a verbal uh, cue that this ends. Goalies are done stretching. Okay, all pucks should now be way down here, which is great. That's right where we want them. The D men all come down here, right? All our D guys are down here, and I want the forwards lined up in their lines up here, okay? Well behind the blue lines, and we should have a, a full set of forwards here, okay? And the next drill that happens is a D-man just begins. And do not hesitate, do not wait, things should be flying. D-man comes out, picks up a puck, makes a move, he can go behind the net, he doesn't have to go behind the net, he makes a quick pass. And then all three folks come down, one, two, three, maybe a quick pass, shot. It's very fast. But by the time this guy's winding up to shoot, this next D guy is starting. If this D guy were to make a pass and the pass goes all the way down the other end of the ice, this next D guy just gets up and starts. We do not wait for anything. This is fast, fast flow. It flows and moves and flows and moves, okay? All three guys I want going at one time. That means the third guy, whoever it is, might not be touching the puck at all. That's okay. It's about the three of you guys skating in together quickly and coming out. Skating in together quickly and coming out. It's about the D-men picking up the puck and getting a pass out. Picking up the puck and getting a pass out. This should all be happening nice and quickly, nice and quickly. And again, that lasts for only about a minute, minute and a half, right? And then that's all done. And then you guys are all around the net. Okay, with with the pucks, you're in around the net. Okay, and you're making a pass back and forth, pass back and forth, a shot, pass, 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 a shot, pass, 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 a shot. And then you all together gather up the pucks, all together gather up the pucks. And then you all together on the sound of the buzzer or my whistle since we're a practice, all together bring the pucks over. Do not leave a guy or two at the net picking up the pucks. All together, everybody gather up their pucks. All together, come to the bench and leave the net. The whole thing takes about three and a half minutes in games where they give us five minutes to warm up. Uh, you could take five minutes for it. Okay, we practice, we play games like we practice. So high intensity practices, high intensity games. That's the first drill for the night. Okay, I just wanted you guys to remember your warm up. So we're gonna warm up tonight uh, in our practice, just like we uh, uh, warm up for our games. Um, if we can get the ice early tonight, that's fine. You come out on the ice early and I'll let you know when all of this will actually begin. Um, that's fine as well. All right, let's get on to drill number two. Okay guys, so for drill number two, uh, we're gonna have all the forwards up here and then the D-men uh, lined up uh, behind, uh, kind of in front of them here. Here are a couple of cones. 
Uh, when we blow the whistle, uh, the demon and the forwards leave at the same time. The forwards skate forward all the way down here. Uh, coach will give them a pass about right here. As soon as they get the pass, they let off a quick shot right here uh, in the net. Great. Um, goalie will be in net there. Then they skate around here, around the net, and they charge straight in here um, and, and get prepared to play uh, the defensive shot, okay? They can also skate around the net as well if that's what they'd like to do. At the same time, uh, the, de the defenseman is skating backwards, taking a pivot, coming around here. As he comes around here, coach will, will pass him a puck. When he gets the puck, he's taking a quick shot and the, uh, the uh, forward can play a rebound or make the tip there. Um, when they're done, they return back to line. It's that simple. Um, we will go on the whistle. So on the whistle, we'll go again, again, again. We're gonna try and do this uh, about seven or eight minutes and then we'll actually flip this and switch sides so we can work on the other uh, side of the ice as well. That's drill two. Okay, drill three. This is a fun one and this one reinforces uh, this reinforces uh, one of our face-off plays, right? And you'll kind of begin to notice this because we have um, a forward here, a forward here. So this would be like our right wing and then um, our left defenseman, right? Okay, and I want half the forwards lined up here at the hash marks, half the forwards lined up here, and I want all the defensemen lined up here at the top of the circle. And you'll see why in a second. Uh, let's have both the assistant coaches over here, right? And we're going to have an assistant coach drop the puck. Everybody's going to get to work on their face off um, uh, uncontested, right? You'll be the only one. So uh, the, the co uh, one coach will drop, drop the puck, okay? And the forward's going to pull the puck back, right? This forward's then going to take a nice shot off the face off, okay? So that's the first part of it, okay? Then um, when the puck is dropped, this D-man begins to skate like this and makes a nice pivot here. Um, after, after this forward shoots, uh, after he shoots, the coach dumps uh, a puck into the corner here, okay? Um, this forward then, after he shoots, uh, begins to skate, okay? Begins to skate uh, to pick up the puck, okay? He'll come down in here and pick up the puck, and this forward skates down in here to become the forward support. Okay, so this forward picks up the puck and the forward skates with it, makes a nice pass over here. Oops, sorry, makes a nice pass over here. Okay, meanwhile, this defenseman has been skating all the way back here. This defenseman is going to tap our goalie with his stick. Okay, um, that's, that's, that means he's going to come all the way back here into the, the crease area, tap him with the stick. Um, and then... Um, after this pass is made, we're gonna play a little two on one right here, right? So um, this, this forward's coming out here. This forward got the puck, so he's coming out here. And then we have our D-man here. So these guys are gonna come out here and play a little two on one. The D-man are lined up here because nobody is supposed to go outside of this area. In other words, we're playing the two on one within this area here, okay? So starts out with the face off, pulls it back, shoots. Right? Um, after he shoots, he comes down here and picks up a puck. He passes it over to this guy who was here, right? At that same time, the D-man came up. He came all the way down in, right? Gives this guy a little tap, and then he's playing the two-on-one here, okay? The rotation is when the D-man's done, he goes in the line, this D-man comes out here. The guy who took the face off gets to be at the top of the circle, okay? The guy that was in the line here gets to take the face off, and the guy who, um, was uh, came down to take the pass comes all the way down here and gets in the line okay and the guy who um uh, did the shooting and skated around gets in the back of the line here okay all right on to drill four okay drill four is a great drill um that uh i haven't seen in a while I saw coach natoli doing it last night and a lot of fun actually i think it was coach Oeda that was actually running it but great drill so um this is a one-on-one -on -one in all four corners. So the forwards lined up in the four corners. The D-men are up here with coach, okay? Uh, uh, what happens is uh, the drill begins by the D-man skating backwards into the D-zone here, okay? And the D-man's the, the now facing out forward here, 
okay? The coach makes a pass into any one of the corners, so all four of these forwards have to be ready. When he makes the pass, the forward takes the pass, and now he's trying to score. It's a one-on-one -on -one against this D-man, okay? Uh, as soon as the coach blows the whistle, the one-on-one -on -one is over, and then the coach can make a pass to any one of these other three forwards, right? And when he makes the pass, that's great. Then the steam man has another one-on-one, -on -one, right? And then when he blows the whistle, that one's over and he can make a pass to the other one that's left. And the D-man has that one and then that one and so on and so forth until it's over, okay? After the D-man has had a one-on-one -on -one with all four, this D-man's out and the next D-man's in. And of course, the forwards just go to the end of their line, okay? Nice, high intensity, high pace drill. Lots of one-on-ones, lots of work for the forwards coming out here, coming out here, and coming out of the corners. Really good, strong work. Okay. On to drill five. Okay. Our fifth and probably final drill is going to be a three-on-three three tonight. Um, we are going to have two forwards and a D-man playing against two forwards and a D-man. Um, the first two forwards and a D-man are going to be defending this goal, trying to score on this one. The second two forwards and a D-man are going to be defending this goal and trying to score uh, on this one. You're going to have 45 to 55 seconds, just like in our regular shifts, um, and we'll blow the whistle um, to begin. Um, we'll probably put coaches here and here and um, force you to... Um, uh, do an activation where uh, when we uh, change play, uh, you may have to activate with uh, coach before you can uh, uh, shoot on net. Um, but we won't do that initially. We won't do that initially. Well, initially, we'll just have it uh, one against the other. Uh, okay, so we're going to try that for a little uh, three on uh, for a little three on three tonight and see how that goes. Okay, one last thing tonight. Let's go through our jerseys for tonight, jersey colors. I know everybody's getting jersey colors for tonight. Remember, please keep extra jersey colors in your bag. They may change frequently. If I put your jersey color down and you don't happen to have that in your bag, please ask your teammates. So here we go for tonight. Okay, and jersey colors for today. Blue, Jackson Lunt, JT Gandara, and Tim Downs. White, Anthony DiPaolo, Juan He Cho, and Frankie Perone. Red, Paul Giblin, Von Gallagher, Ethan Chuese. Gold, Ray Getz, Matteo Marinic, Andrew McDade, Ivan Petapovic, and Quinn Scribner. And our beloved goalies can wear any color, Tyler Bala and Alessandro Capano. All right, guys, let's have a great practice today. Thanks. Bye-bye.